all right so this time around i've kind of overdid myself and i just created an agent that can you know accept some health related details and create a nutrition plan for you now this isn't like your chat gpt based nutrition plan because this actually does research before it gives you the data and it's not looking at just the data set so you can see it has daily weekly occasional foods it, it accepts your age weight gender activity level height and nutrition goals and i'm also going to modify it to include the diet option because the diet in india let's say is relatively different but it does have you know certain different tabs where you can actually add more details let's say if you have pre-existing medical conditions or current medications that you're taking or food allergies or if you have certain food preferences so let's say vegetarian with egg right a vegetarian that consumes egg you can also have your own budget i'm gonna say i'm budget conscious you also have cooking skills skills which i'm gonna mark as <laughs> limited very limited here and then i'm gonna say if there are any dietary factors so i'm gonna say vegetarian but consume eggs and milk right so once you put in these details and if you have some sort of uh, medical conditions here you can also add those here you click on generate nutrition plan and it will automatically kind of spend some time and create a personalized plan for you this is an agent that i created in crew ai and it you know it is actually doing autonomous research research here uh, by looking at various sources on Google to figure out what actually does work for you as you know based on the composition or the details that you shared here so let's quickly go through the code it has the nutrition agent who is the nutritional specialist and the goal is to give us the uh, nutrition recommendation based on scientific evidence and there is the medical nutrition therapist whose goal is to look at medical conditions and provide appropriate dietary modifications we have the diet planner whose job is to look at you know or rather create detailed practical enjoyable mean plans tailored to individual needs and then we have tasks so we want to do demographic research medical analysis about the data that user entered about the data that the user added and there is the diet plan which will incorporate kind of all the things that we did fill up in the last uh, few sections and all the research that that it gets from these separate set of agents if you've watched other videos this should be relatively simpler to understand we have the agents we have the tasks and then we create tasks and create agents and then create the entire crew and run and kick off the crew we've created a basic streamlit ui on top of this so a personalized nutrition advisor and this is the markdown so essentially if you look at this this is our title this is our markdown and we have three tabs basic health details and preferences so you can see three tabs here and then we've just insert you know added the input box select box based on the details and so on and so forth so in the end we will kind of segment or rather arrange the data that we get from the user like this so we can easily send this to uh, models and the model that we are using here is gpt 4 mini which is a simpler model and it does give you the output like like this but i'm going to change and play around with o3 mini and see how it looks again there is some issue in the ui which is why you get this error but it does give you all the data that we need uh, in order to make the get a quick understanding of how your diet should really look like so eggs greek yogurt mixed nuts oats spinach lentils and so on now it does not necessarily take in to account the fact that we are in india and we need to uh, ensure that the diet is more regional so what you can do is you can go to preferences and lifestyle and then you can add here we're based in india so make sure you keep that availability in mind now once you fill this up and you generate nutrition plan again uh, this is this will ensure that it takes the regional nuances into picture before generating the final output but it's going to do the same set of things it's going to research online but this time keep in mind specifically the regional variation that we provided it in the input so i'm going to move myself to the right here and you can see this these agents are kind of working together autonomously without me telling any of the agents to let's say filter out medical conditions or filter out certain drugs and so on and so forth to figure out what our diet should look like it first created the uh, vegetarian diet and you can see this time it specifically marked the location as india specific foods to it still is similar but it added things like cottage paneer or brown rice or tofu or extra virgin oil and spices and herbs and so on it does not highlight oats as such which was the case previously but you can see this is how the plan now looks like so scrambled eggs 
snack banana for a snack lunch salad for lunch and so on and so forth you can add more details here so you can say for example i prefer eating sand sandwiches and you can add the preference here and you can say i like dark chocolate and this will take into account these details as well but this time around what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the model to gpt o3 mini or rather just o1 mini to see how the output looks like with this model i don't know if it will be directly available via the chat open ai endpoint because the last time around this didn't work but i'm going to give this a shot if it doesn't work i have a plan b as well in place so let's go ahead and generate nutrition plan with this new model the output for this model takes quite some time so it's going to take a while before we get the output and if you need need access to this code the link to the github repo is available in the description you can access all the agents we've created in the course and across these videos you can see there's an error here which basically says that the model produced invalid context so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to plan b and this time i'm going to call llm so llm you can call from crew ai endpoint and it should have provider name so open open ai o1 mini and the second thing yeah i think this should be good enough let's try it with this okay i'm gonna rerun hopefully i don't lose the details yeah i lost the details anyway so let's quickly add the details again all right and in preferences i'm gonna say i like dark chocolate and prefer eating sandwiches i am from india so keep availability of food in mind so i did add these details and let's try it now with this llm if this fails uh, which it should not honestly and hopefully you can see this is how you would pass the uh, details in here for o1 and o3 mini models you can't really pass the temperature but i think i should have passed the api key it's not failing right now so oh yeah it, it failed so let me quickly add api key here i'm gonna say os dot get environment open ai api key you know what i'm just gonna copy this and i'm going to paste this here i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna say open ai o1 mini i'm going to remove this i'm gonna say open ai api key everything looks okay i can't pass the temperature to this model i'm gonna stop the code i'm gonna run this again and i'm gonna see if i can copy these details to this new file here i'm gonna keep the other ones as they are because yeah i do need to select goal i'm gonna say weight loss and muscle building and then let's run this so it it appears that it is working with uh this setup and you can see we just got the response from open ai which which is where it kept failing some time back if you look at the output of uh this it does seem relatively more better and in depth as opposed to the one that we used for or rather we got from gpt 4 mini so initial uh, thoughts it is promising and let's see how the final output really looks like all right so our personalized nutrition plan is ready uh it did so we did not really mention that we are a vegetarian and it did add chicken breast or tofu in the scenario but it has you know kind of added the daily foods bit where it's talking about these are the sources of protein these are the sources of carbohydrates fats vegetables fruits and so on it's also added weekly foods occasional foods and so on it has you know day wise breakdown of the foods that you should consume and if you uh, it's also given me the grocery shopping list uh, with specific items and meal preparation tips so if you actually go to the uh, health and details and if you fill up certain details so if you have let's say high diabetes or hypertension or so on you can add those details here hopefully you don't and then if you have current medications that you're taking or food allergies that you have you can put those details here as well but yeah that is going to be it for the video guys this is in a way our own autonomous agent that can you know look up data and give us recommendations with respect to food items to consume